The next thing I want to look at is relating two different variables in a scatter plot and its regression model. The first thing I can do is calculate my correlation coefficient. This is done by the command COR. Then we then use the first variable, which was diameter, comma, my second variable, which was age. By running this, I can see that these have a really high correlation, 0.9649275, which is very, very high since it's very close to one. I can also plot this. We use the command plot and then do our two variables. Trees, diameter, and trees, age. And by running this, I can see that I have my basic scatter plot here. And there are lots of ways we can change this graph up. We can use my X label to label my x-axis, I'm going to label it diameter. We can use my y-lab, my y-label, to change the label on the y-axis. I'm going to name it age. And we can use the main command to change the title. We'll say diameter versus age. We can see I've now changed both the X and Y axis as well as the name of this graph. I can also use my COL command with my quotations and my HTML code to change the color. And I can also use this thing known as PCH. And I'm gonna do PCH equal to 16. And that changes what the dots look like. By using this command question mark PCH, this will get my help document for this command and I can go down and see the table of what each different number means. So for instance, if I were to change this to the number 25, I can see how my graphs look quite different. But for now, I'm gonna leave it at 16. Now that I have my correlation and my scatter plot, I can look at my regression line. This is done by LM. We do our Y variable first, which was trees age. We do a tilde and then we do our second variable, which is trees diameter. Our X variable, so we need the Y first and then the X. And this is going to tell me my formula. So it's the intercept and then trees dollar sign diameter. So this is my Y intercept and my slope. So my line would be Y equal to 2.536X plus 17.565. I can add this line to my graph using this AB line. And we do LM of my Y variable, which was age, with a tilde and my X variable, which was diameter. And if I run that, I can see where the line is, where that line of best fit is. If I want to remove color from up here so that these dots are black, I can then add it down here to change the color of the line. 